hi again in a, another javascript tutorial uh, this time around uh, we would be learning some if else statements so let's get started by defining two variables say x and y and put them some values say 34 and one is uh, y is equal to 20 say and as you have known to as you have known in the previous movies you write if something like this x equals if x is greater than say x is greater than y then you say alert sorry let's keep the curly braces on first mm, alert alert say x is bigger x is bigger and this is quite uh, how you have used uh, the script uh, in if con if conditions now you can see this is not true in this case um, so what would if the opposite is the case S means we can so to describe the opposite case or to implement the opposite case in our code we use the else keyword with the if now remember this if and else these two statements have to match each other like this okay now else means if x is greater than y then this thing will uh, get executed if not then what else should be so if not so obviously we can give a message say alert uh, x is not bigger so let's give it x is not bigger so let's run it in the web browser and see what it shows f5 so x is not bigger you have got the message and let's go in my code again uh, now what if if they're equal is fine okay they are uh, it is not bigger so to describe that condition we put a if condition there else sorry else if and within the else if uh, we say x equals y sorry I made a mistake here and within this so we say a l e r t allowed uh, x is equals with y and now you're having a complete decision tree with it that first it takes x is greater than y or not and then it mm, goes to this part and then it's test again if x is equals equals y or not and if uh, none of these conditions got satisfied then this thing arises so again load it up in the web browser f5 and you are getting x is not bigger now you can uh, have some little experiments with the values of x and y say you want to uh, put 20 and uh, let's see in the web browser what it shows f5 and x is equals with y um, and you can keep on juggling with the values but remember the structure about if else and else if this is the layer ladder that you, we use very much in coding so if somebody else if this condition got tested if none of those two conditions got satisfied then we move on to else and one more thing if your if part is having only one single statement remember if the body you are having only one single statement you can opt out the curly braces and it will look uh, something like this um, got it now this is the more compact form of the if else statement and we are ready to see whether this thing works or not in the web browser and yes it has worked so this is the structure remember this is quite a shorthand and within this expression obviously we are free to use any boolean expression that qualifies this thing now we uh, in the next movie the what I want to show you some real examples of if so stay tuned and watch the next movie